Hey, this is Brian from Guardian Angel Productions, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to speed up Windows Vista. For my particular version, I have Home Premium, and uh, it doesn't really matter what you have. First of all, well, never mind. I wasn't going to say what I was about to say, but whatever. First, click Start. Go to your Start search bar down here. Type in MS Config. Go to startup and turn everything off. Well, except for like your Windows um security. You know, and like I have Rocket Dock, which is this thing up here. So I'll keep that'll start up. Make sure that this Microsoft Windows operating system is always on, and this WMPN SCFG is always on. Go to tools, and if you hate the um that shit, what's it called? The um parental control or account control, whatever the hell it is, where when you click something it says are you sure, and then you have to hit continue, and then you hit are in this says are you positively sure? You're like whatever, fuck this. Um, that you can go down to disable UAC, hit launch, and hit apply, and that'll take it off. Now for this, go to services, or actually we'll do that in a second. Go to boot, put the timeout at three seconds, no GUI boot, go to advanced options, and it'll, at first, it'll look like this. You just click number of processors, switch it to two, hit OK. And then that should be good. Go to services, take off computer browser. Um, IP helper, KTM RM for distributed transaction coordinator. Distributed transaction coordinator. <clears throat> Performance logs and alerts, IPsec policy agency or agent, <clears throat> remote access auto connection, remote access connection manager, remote registry, smart card, smart card removal policy, secondary logon, Windows image acquisition, and in parentheses it will say WIA. Tablet PC input service, telephony, terminal services, distributed link tracking client, Windows module installer, Windows time, um, Windows error reporting service, Win HTTP web proxy auto disconnect discovery service, sorry, WMI performance adapter, parental controls, and I'll turn off Bonjour service and iPod service because that's some brand new shit I just got. Hit apply. And you might want to restart your computer. I didn't, but you just might do want to. Now what you could do is you can go into your control panel. Go to uninstall the program. And uninstall anything you really don't need. Like uTorrent. Stupid shit like that. Um... Yeah, just go through it when you have the time, and just see what you need and what you don't need, and it'll all be good. Next, go back to your control panel, go up here to the little search bar and type in power, and go to change what the power buttons do, and make everything sleep, okay, everything. Everything on battery when I press the power button sleep when I press the sleep button sleep when I close the lid sleep plugged in sleep 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 I can't get that through your head enough sleep all of them okay Cause some people I know will be messaging me what am I supposed to change the battery settings to it's get just don't I'm not even gonna respond I'm sorry but I'm not gonna and then hit save changes and go to power options again or Go back to the um, 
power, where the fuck, power options, yeah. Alright, power options, then go to HP recommended, hit change plan settings. Make sure on battery is turn off the display 5 minutes, put the computer to sleep 10 minutes, adjust display brightness all the way up. Plugged in, turn off the display 15 minutes, put the computer to sleep 25, make sure the um, it's all the way to the sun and then it save changes. Um, um, trying to think. Oh, go to your internet browser, go to Google and type in OzLogix Disk Defrag, okay, download. It's a really good defrag, it takes a couple minutes to defrag your whole hard drive. And it supports 64-bit too, so that's good. And, um, where is it? It's right there. I'll just do... You just click the C, and it just goes through every file and defrags them, and it just works out good. I've been using it for a while, have no problems whatsoever. All right, and while we're in Mozilla, we might as well just do the about config. Go to about config, pipelining. Make sure the network that http pipelining is set to false. And and network .http pipelining .map max requests is set to fifty. Then go to max dot persistent. Okay, or max dash. I'm sorry. Make sure network .http .max dash persistent dash connections dash per dash server is thirty, and that'll be good. Also, uh, that's it. I'll do another video on some add-ons that you can use. But after you do all this, restart your computer and you should be all good. I'm Brian from Guardian Angel Productions. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, we still are looking for um, crew members, so just um, message me on YouTube and or AIM. My AIM's on my uh, YouTube page. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much and again, please subscribe.